Hello and welcome. In this short video we're going to look at the concept of inheritance and we're going to look at writing the code for super and subclasses that use inheritance in Java programming. The first thing we need to do is to understand the concept of inheritance. To inherit something is to could be defined as to receive from an ancestor by legal succession or will, to receive a characteristics from one parent, one's parents, or to gain something as one's right or portion. And these are all concepts that we would be familiar with in day-to-day -day life. And Java inheritance is, is no different. It acts in the very same way as this. So Java inheritance allows one class to inherit all of the data members and methods of another class. And it's as simple as that. The rule to remember when implementing inheritance in Java is that it permits a class to extend from only one other class. So um, I suppose in life you would inherit things from both of your parents, okay? But in Java, a class can have only one parent class. So it can only inherit the data members and methods of one single other class, okay? So when we talk about inheritance and we say a class inherits from another class, the class that is inheriting is known as the subclass. So the child class would be known as the subclass. And then the class from which the subclass inherits is known as the superclass. It is said that the subclass extends the superclass. So that's just some important terminology to remember when we talk about inheritance. If we take a look at this example where we have an employee and a manager, all employees have an employee ID, a name and a salary, no matter what kind of employee they are. So for example, a manager would also require an employee ID, a name and a salary, but a manager also has a department name. So in this case, we can, we can write the code for an employee class, which has employee ID, name and salary. And then we can write the code for a manager class, which inherits all of the attributes of the employee class but also then has its own department name setters and getters and whatever else is required around that. So if we take a look then at an example of the manager subclass, we here we have the keyword extends. So we declare our class as normal public class manager, but now we have extends employee because employee is the class it extends from. Employee is our super class. We have our overloaded constructor and then here because constructors are not inherited from superclasses, we need to use the keyword super in order to take that the contents of the constructor and call it in the subclass. So we'll see that when we look at our example in a moment. But we have this super keyword here, which calls the constructor from the superclass. And then we have our remaining data members that haven't been addressed yet. So you'll see the keyword extends is used. Um, the manager class extends the employee class and it still needs its own constructor because constructors are not inherited from the parent class. So that's something that's very important to remember. Okay, Constructors are not inherited and subclasses can only extend from one superclass. So I think the best way, as usual, is to look at this via an example. So I think in a previous video we've seen this idea of an assessment where we want to develop an application that allows us to store the data pertaining to a particular assessment. So an assessment would have a name, a type and a weighting. But then also if we take a look at different types of assessments, a project would have a name, a type, a weighting and a deadline. And a test would have a name, a type, a weighting, a number of questions and a duration. So while project and test have some things in common, they don't have everything in common. They have things that are unique to them. And it's important when you're thinking of where inheritance makes sense in your application to think about have I things in common and have I things that are unique to each of the subclasses. So we mentioned that each subclass can have only one superclass. So a subclass can only inherit from one superclass but a superclass can have lots of subclasses. So a superclass can have more than one subclass. And we'll see that now when we implement the code. So let's take a look at NetBeans. So in a previous video, we've developed this assessment class with getters and setters for name, type, and weighting. Okay, and now we're going to implement the code 
for the subclasses of assessment. So to do that, we need to right click on our package, new and Java class. And our first new Java class is going to be project. Okay. Now, the first thing to do here, public class project extends assessment so that we tell Java straight off we're going to extend another existing class. In this class then we have a new data member because a project as well as having a name type and waiting has a deadline and we can use the date data um, the date class here for this okay now you'll see I'm getting my error coming up under date because I haven't imported the package that the date class belongs to and I can right click and fix imports and Java is going NetBeans is going to suggest the right import for me there so private date deadline now we have our constructor public project same as usual okay now in this overloaded constructor we're going to need all of the attributes that we had for the assessment constructor and an instance of date called deadline. Okay, in here then, because we don't inherit constructors in our subclass, we use the keyword super and we say name, type and waiting needs to go to the super constructor but this dot deadline equals deadline because that we treat as normal. It's a data member of this class. Okay. And now we just need our getters and setters for date or for deadline. So right click, insert code, getters and setters, select your date, your deadline and generate. And it does the getters and setters for us. Okay. And that essentially is the the code for the project class. So you can see we've saved ourselves lots of time. We now don't need to do the getters and setters for name, type and waiting. Okay, we've got a nice short class here. And once we use this keyword extends, it knows that it takes everything that belongs in the super class. And you'll see as well, if we go back to the super class, NetBeans has added this little gray icon here next to the class name and that says has subclasses, sub which means then that there are subclasses to go with this superclass, okay? Let's do another one then. So if we right click on our package and we go to new a Java class, we can create a test class, okay? Test, of course, extends assessment also. And we have our new data members are going to be num questions. So the number of questions is going to be an integer. And we're also, now we have two new data members in this instance, um, duration, so int duration. Okay, again, we have our constructor, public test. In here, we're going to do, inherit all of the things well we're going to use all of the parameters that we inherit from our super class and we're going to add in int num questions and int duration you'll note i haven't put in um the deadline one that we used in project because that's a different subclass that's what's unique to the project class it doesn't apply here okay in here then again because we don't inherit um, constructors, we use our super method to pull down the, to feed the information back up into our super class. So we have name, type, and waiting. And then this dot num questions equals num questions. And this dot duration equals duration. Okay, and same as before then, right click, insert code, getters and setters for duration and num questions. Okay, now that's fairly straightforward. Okay, but if we take a look at an extended version of this problem, okay, 
we've seen project and tests but now we've got this this other dimension to the problem a Moodle test or an online test has a name a type a weighting a number of questions and a duration as do all tests but then it also has an open date a closed date and a password which regular tests don't have so we are now going to make a subclass okay but as we can see the things that it has in common it has in common with test so it is possible in Java to have a subclass which also has a subclass okay so we can have multiple levels I know we mentioned a subclass can't have more than one superclass but you can have multiple levels a hierarchical structure of inheritance so I've put this in a class diagram just to show you so there we have our assessment um, class and from that we have the test class and extending from that again we have the Moodle test class okay and a Moodle test now also has an open date a closed date and a password so let's implement that in NetBeans so we need one more class right click new and Java class and here we have Moodle test okay and this extends test okay okay so private date open private date closed and private string password okay again we need to fix our imports so that we in use we import the util package which contains the date class and our constructor moodle test now in here we need all of the same parameters that we used in the test class so I'm going to copy those to make sure I get them in the same order and we need date open date closed and string password okay now in here then again we call our super constructor and in here we give it name type waiting num questions duration and then this dot open equals open this dot closed equals closed and this dot password equals password okay and then finally we do our insert code getters and setters date for closed and open and password and we get all of our getters and setters and that is the code for our subclass of our subclass so if we save that now we should be all error free so in a later video we'll take a look at declaring and creating instances of your superclass versus your subclasses and the different ways that we can handle that but for now um, i hope this has helped you to understand inheritance and super and subclasses and the different terminology that goes along with it thank you for watching